Did you know the two youngest travelers in the franchise are Tressa and Agnia? Today, I want to show you five things you should do when you start Octopath Traveler 2 when it drops in just a few days. And maybe share a little fun fact here and there. The first thing you should do is change the text speed to fastest. I find that this just helps with the flow of the dialogue and keeps things moving. Another thing to do is when you are in a cutscene, you can press RB or the equivalent of whatever device you're on to either stop the dialogue, have it play automatically, or have it speed through the text. Or additionally, hold down this button, it's B for me, I'm on Steam, to skip the cutscene altogether. Next, you can start with whoever you want, but I highly recommend at least picking up Oswald or a Chet as soon as possible. Oswald has a skill that lowers encounter rates and a skill that increases the XP earned after battles. And I'll explain why evasive maneuvers is important in the next tip. And then Ochette, she has a skill called More Rare Monsters that will increase the chance of Octopuffs and Kates appearing. These can be difficult to take out, but if you do manage to do so, you'll get a ton of experience, money, and JP from them. So a little fun fact before we move on, did you know that if you take the first letter of each traveler and it spells out Octopath? If you didn't know that, you gotta like the video and subscribe to the channel. The third tip is picking up the JP Augmenter item. So this item is in an extremely high level dungeon that can be attained very easily if you have the skill Evasive Maneuvers from Oswald. All you need to do is go to Achet's Island and go to this level 48 dungeon. Go up here, save, return to the title screen. This resets your steps count and lowers the chance of getting an encounter. And lastly, make sure it's daytime because nighttime will make it to where more enemies are likely to spawn. Follow this path and get to the item, but stop here. After you get the item, fast travel back out to the docks right outside so you don't have to walk anymore inside the dungeon. Now you have the JP Augmenter accessory and will get extra job points when you complete battles. If you want to make the most of your level grind, I recommend battling at night because night mode causes more powerful enemies to spawn and defeating these monsters will grant you more XP, money, and rarer items than those that, fought, that are fought during the day. These monsters tend to be a bit stronger and can be hard if not properly kitted out, but they're not extremely difficult. And finally, something new that was added in Octopath Traveler 2 is the Crossed Paths feature. These are special story events that take place between two travelers. This will add additional backstories for each character and their Crossed Path partners. An example of one such cross path is the Dancer and the Warrior that takes place between Agnia and Hikaru. And the description reads, During a quiet night in Ryu, Agnia and Hikari hear the sounds of a beautiful instrument drifting on the wind. Though not confirmed, these may hint at deeper connections between the travelers or even a romantic connection between a few. And also, these are expected to give unique skills and abilities, equipment and items. So I'd recommend just doing these whenever they pop up. I haven't been able to find exactly how these unlock but when they do, I highly recommend doing them, at least for the sake of understanding stories. So these were the five things I think you should do when starting your journey in Celestia. Some are just to help with the flow of things and some help get a deeper understanding of the characters and travelers. I hope you found this video helpful and if you did, be sure to like and subscribe and check out this video on how to farm job points quickly and effectively. Peace.